So what I want to do is I want to I want to mark a center line. Okay. This gives me a reference point. Uh, it may not be where I'm going to grind to or anything, but I know it's like I got this much on this side and this much on this side mm -hmm. relative to something that's flat. So what my where my foundation will be is this. This is the area I'm going to consider my foundation, not the tank, not the blade. But this is sitting flat from here to here. Yep. And this is sitting flat from here to here. So we're going to run a line all the way down the edge and back here in the handle because we're going to taper it. So we're going to grind some. Uh, so we can get a nice taper. First thing we'll do is drill some holes. And then we'll grind the hollow groove and then we'll make it flat. If we, if we take this out, we're going to do two things. We're going to make more surface area in there, which makes it stiffer. We're going to make less surface area that we have to get flat. Mm, okay. So it's easier to get it flat. I so, got you. Uh, and I'll it also shifts the weight a little bit, you said. Yeah, it just gives it more uh, balances than I would. So we're going to stay on this side and on this side of these pins. So don't go past that line or that line and make yourself an imaginary line here and here. So don't pass these two lines. Okay. I'll use mine. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Right on. So I'm doing this now. Let's try it out. Where do I need to hold it? Yeah, I like that too. Is that comfy? You can either do that or you can have like I use the old one line in like that and one in on top. Yeah, right there. Yeah, you got it. Alright, that's perfect. Yeah. So yours is very even, and what we're going to do is we're going to a little bevel here and a little bevel here, and then we're going to let that work up to this, this part because it's tapered, it won't really be able to touch up here. grinding all that stuff up in the middle to get all that flat. Yep. I just have to get that flat and then our handle material fits on there perfect. Now, nice. I'm going to do okay. one more thing. So now, I'm going to try this. And I'm basically just going to work it right up here. And hopefully it doesn't touch too much up into this area. I don't think okay. it will. I don't think it can. Could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Our handle material is going to cover all that. Okay. So, come over here. So that's flat. 
those little lines show me I got a little bit of a shallow spot. This is flat. Um, I can probably I probably need to take a little bit more off back here. Yeah. So I can get it really really flat. So I'm gonna go back. Okay. And I kind of knew it already, but I just wanted to check. Can you play guitar? No. No? Well, you're doing good for grinding. A lot of people who play guitar grind very easily. Huh. So starting here. Cool. Yeah, and hold this hand as close as you can. Okay, there you go. Now you got more control. Got it. And that is just like basically you're letting it rest on that, okay? Okay. Ready? Yep. Feel flatness. Cool. That's probably it. We'll check yeah. it with the magnet. Okay. Yeah. So we got a nice tapered. It looks cool. And is there no more meat taken out of the spine of it than that, or is that about what you want? Yeah, it's about what we want. This mine was screwed up more, so I had to take more off. Okay. It's had more on one side than the other. All right, try it over here. those little low spots and stuff like that doesn't make a difference no it won't really matter that much they're so low they're only like two thousandths or three thousandths and when we glue the handle material on there they all kind of disappear okay all right are you using a you're not using a stopper or anything no Okay. Now I got so many lines on here, I don't know which ones I should follow. Perfect. <laughs> Let's see yours. It's a nice sound. That little burr could throw you off. Okay, good. We got a little bit more on this side than this side, no big mm -hmm. deal. Okay. And mine is same thing, a little bit more on one than the other. Right, cool. Okay, now this part, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna establish a line for you to follow, okay? okay. So we'll take we're gonna grind kind of a 45 and a 45, and then you're gonna follow it down. It's not gonna go very far because we've we've forged these really close. Okay. And the idea is I'd like to leave as much of the forging as we can. Sure. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna make that. A, a the guy. We don't need to go that far, but that allows us to have a lot of the forging left, which looks really cool. Back in the day, every knife I did was perfectly finished, and it looked like a machine made it. Right, yeah. And you right. see, I was like, oh, this is forged. I was like, yeah. And they're like, where's the forge mark? I was like, <laughs> and then me and my friend Adam saw these Granford Brooks axes. And I was like, man, that's really cool. We should make some knives like that. So we started doing it, and we call that adventure grid. 
Ah. And then safari grade was a belt finish, and then exhibition grade was a hand rub. Oh, finish. very cool. So I'll do mine first. This is just the, the rough bevel. Okay. I'll show you what I'm talking about. do that first with an old worn out belt because if I go to my new sharp belt and do it there's a high likelihood that, that sharp belt is going to pull that um, abrasive off and I don't want to do that but now I've, I've started my grind with this and I'll take it a little bit further I've established a center line yep. and I hope it to be parallel I don't want to make it any more sharp until after I've hardened it okay okay so we'll go a little further and I'll, I'll be right here with you when you set yours up here. see what I got. Now what I'm going to do is I want to follow it down the blade. Yep. I don't want to make a bunch of facets. I want one smooth flat grind, but it's probably it's going to just continue creeping down, but I want to keep that same flatness. So as I move down the blade, so like right here is my angle right now, right. whatever that is. But as I begin moving down the blade, I'm going to move my thumbs down the blade too to apply pressure where it needs to go. I don't want to grind flat. That's too right. much. Yep. So once I get that established, you just stay with that I'm angle. Stay with that angle, and I'm a, I'm a blend it just a little bit. I'm gonna go one degree at a time. Oh boy. I'll be like one, uh, one or two, you know, whatever it makes. It's a couple degrees at a time, just taking it off and making it smoother and smoother and smoother. Now we don't need to go that far, because you know our edge geometry is gonna be, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be perfect. I got cool. my best people working on it. It's gonna be perfect. <laughs> You'll love it. I know a guy. Yeah. All right. Okay, hold it like this. Yeah, get comfortable. There you go, good. You ease into it. The other thing is, this, this machine, you're, you're good, you're comfortable, and now you can get into it. Right here? Yeah, perfect. Here's what we're doing. Yeah, we're kind of getting caught right here a little bit. Yeah, what? And you'll overcome that. And if you don't, I'll, I'll go back. You're gonna do the rub. I'll smooth it back out for Got you. Got it. Kind of like and smooth it out. We won't take off too much. Why I think you might be getting caught is I'll show you. If you're, over here, um, you're coming along and, you, and you're, you're turning. You're biting a little bit. You're biting a little bit. So if you're coming along, feather like it this. out. Yeah. Don't don't go like this. Got it. Like, like yep. yep. so instead, of, instead of leveraging it into the. Leverage it and then turn it up like that. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's good. Let me see. Porsche 911 is like simple race car, right. solid, durable. Yep, the whole nine. I like that. If I was gonna buy one, right. then I could. If you're gonna trade a guy a knife for one. Yeah, I'd trade a guy a knife for him, and I will. 
Yeah. Somebody's got a 911. So whoever GS, has a 911 out there. 911 GS, and you want to trade a knife, I'll do it. Maybe even two knives, but. Yeah, but I did trade a Rolex one time, and I didn't like that. I felt so stupid. I was like, <laughs> you got to have that back. I don't want it. He goes, here's the money. I was like, cool. I don't want it. I, don't want it. I felt like, this is, I'm dumb. I don't want this dumb watch. All right. Same thing. We're just going to bring it in increments. Okay. Um, do this. Got a little bit of belt hangover. Okay. On the side, oh, you're driving. Yep. Like, That's right. A little bit hangover. So I'm gonna start there. Later on, we'll blend all that in if we have to. But we do have. A, we want to have a serious group look to it. Yeah, sure. So I'm gonna start there. Run a little faster. farther but I'll let you do it now I don't want you to even concern yourself about screwing up or not grinding even if you multifaceted it we can smooth that out easy okay that's why I say I'll tune it up okay so you're doing the, you're doing 90% and I might go back and do 10 even if I have to even do that does that okay. make sense makes great sense okay. and it's always funny when I get done with a class and I got a bunch of guys and they're like we do most of the work and I was like no that's my knife and that's your knife and they go oh yeah so if I want to, which so way Whichever you side you want to start on, it don't matter. So if you're going to start here, like in your left hand, put it this way. If you're going to start in your right hand where you are, let a little bit hang over that way. And then just get comfortable. Yeah, that's a good angle. Now don't make it sharp. Okay, I yeah, we want an angle. Yeah, we want to, this next one will be get close. And, and you can be real sensitive about it. Right there. Nice. All right, keep Fix going. a little bit. Yep, just follow that line again, but don't make right it here. any sharp. Yep. That's like flat where we were. Uh huh. So the next one is don't try to make it any sharper. Okay? Yeah. We're gonna come. You're gonna basically you're coming across this. Uh huh. A little bit shallower actually. Yeah, and you're just gonna bring your thumbs down a bit. If you if you hold your thumbs here, like I hold my finger here, like this, because yeah. that part can't touch. Seems like it would, but it won't. Okay. And you're just gonna come across. And you, think about it like carving. Okay. Like you're carving. You're shaving wood off. Then don't worry about a facet. If you get a facet, I'll take it out. Okay. We're good. See if we can see that little line up there. Oh, man. oh yeah. See that little silvery line? Oh cool. Oh actually it's a really dark black line. So that means that it was it was marked wrong. <laughs> That's funny. Because it red, it means 15 and 20. But it's not red. It's another steel. But it'll be okay. It'll, <laughs> it'll show us another color, and that's. That'll be totally fine. 
<clears throat> it's already right. better than the knife that I've never made before. Yeah, this is pretty good for a first one. I don't know, it might come out silver. I'm always, I always question Uncle Aldo. I love him, but I'm just like, are you sure you got it on? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right, tune this up for you. Just okay. Includes the Go. damaging of our ears for today. I forgot to put earplugs in. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is harden. Okay. But slightly before that, and even less known, is tracing out the handle oh. so that we have our handle material. Cool. And then we go back tomorrow or after it's hardened with all the final polishing. Yeah, and once it's hardened, then we'll go back and we'll grind this more. We'll bring this back. All of this will be end up being nice and dark. It'll be a really dark oxide finish. And then we'll grind that clip in whatever we want. So whether mm -hmm. we want to sharpen it or just make it a nice switch. Right. I don't usually sharpen it because when I'm doing this, I have cut myself before. Yeah, I don't need that. And I don't really like that. There's plenty sharp enough to poke into stuff. Oh, yeah. So that is from Gibson. Cool. That's a nice chunk. We should use that piece. Cool. See, this is a piece. It was like that. A lot of them have. Uh, let me see. I can show you. You have a guitar body drawn on it. Like that. Oh, that's so cool. So that's from a Gibson Les Paul, but it won't be selected because of oh, those knots. knots. Yeah. For knife, this is the one we're going to use. This thing's been drying for years and years and years. And cool. That, that will be good for us. I like that. That's. So when you see where you got a smooth one and a really coarse one, yeah. that's a deep curl. It's a very deep, tight curl. Okay. So that's gonna look nice. So we use that. This is a wood that ends up looking better and better the older it gets. Uh-huh. You see old Kentucky rifles and old flintlocks and stuff? Yeah. They didn't use black walnut on guns back in the day. Um, they used curly maple or curly ash or something like that, curly elm, but they didn't ever use black walnut. Black walnut has very short fibers in it and it twists and warps. Mm. Okay, now, okay, we got this. So now how hot are we gonna get it now? Same as we did on the normal again. And, um, and then, all right. Mm -hmm. And set yours right on the other side. So when we go to grab these, we're going to grab them like this. Yeah. As tight as you can grab them. You pull it straight out, you dump it, and you go into quench. And, and I would be like, he goes, no, no, no. Do like this. Click, click, click. I do not make toy. I make, <laughs> make a weapon. <laughs> exactly. All right, Heath, time for your exam. All right, I'm ready. Open, please. I'm gonna grab it like this. I'm tight, I'm pulling straight out, dumping that, and going in there like this. I'm agitating it a little bit. I'm not breathing the oil. It's thicker, so we got. Now we got a little small window of time. We can straighten it if it's crooked. Pretty. Nice. More than that oil, huh? I hate breathing that stuff. I don't like that stuff. All right, we're pretty much as crooked as a dog's own leg. <laughs> yeah, that's good, I think. Cool. Yeah, it's good. Right. Now, what are you doing the toast oven? Uh, toasting. That's good. Here you have some this pop is tarts. Like tempering oven. Yeah. So when it's at uh, 
two, three fifty. It's actually three seventy. So, right, you want to do it? Yeah, let's try it. Right, don't you burn your beard? Your wife will be mad at me. Yeah, sure. we don't need that. Yeah. There you go. That was easy. You'd be like, look, I trimmed it. Yeah. I had a picture one day. It was like a bunch of beard hair on the. Oh ground. yeah. <laughs> it was like you cut it. I was like, calm down. <laughs> I do mine. People freaked out when I shaved my beard off. People lost their mind. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna help you in a couple ways. So these tongs, okay. you wanna grab it, and it's gonna be weird because it's gonna want to kind of wink, do something weird. But I'll back you up with these if I need to. Okay. okay. I'm gonna pull this even closer. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So pull it out. Drop the pin. Pull it out. Sideways. Down go and agitate. In. And get it all the way in. Otherwise, we'll get fire. So get it all the way down. In the agitating is not this. It's just a little. Just a little bit. Got it. Ready. Good, good grip. Good. Tight. Good. Dump the pin. Good. Go in there. Perfect. Keep going. All right. Good. Perfect. Just keep it. Just stay in there. Doing good. Keep it in there. That's a neat. That. Yeah, yeah. Is that kind of like? Is it like flash boiling, boiling the know. oil? It's just yeah. All right, you can slowly pull it out and just let it kind of drip in the oil. And uh, all right, I got you. You can let go. All right. Killer. That keeps it from warping. Well, I don't know if it keeps it from warping. It just makes me feel like it keeps it from warping. <laughs> <laughs> I've never really been able to prove whether it does or not. It could have been straight in the first place, and the jaws could be crooked. And every time I stick it in there, it actually that, that's your warping quite machine. Warped. Oh, yeah. I know why the jaws are enough um that smoke and dust i forgot what we were doing <laughs> knives knives Got cool it. knives yeah <laughs> i was we're looking for the mysterious unicorn knife and we are this close to finding it we're six inches away <laughs> from finding it <laughs> or 14 canadian centimeters oh yeah 14 canadian centimeters all right well we forged ground he treated our blades. Next, we will do the handles, the shaping, and the sharpening. HSS. HSS. Handles, shaping, sharpening. I want to figure out how to make it. HHH. Handle, handling, and handle. That sucks. <laughs> I don't like that. We're going to go back to your idea. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it, guys.